In the Alto da Serra neighborhood, we can find Mojo da Oficina, the most affected place by the storm that hit the city of Petropolis on Tuesday, the worst in 90 years. The house of Suelen dos Santos' parents, one of the victims, was one of the 80 destroyed. Let's listen to her story through our correspondent, Andre Vieira. In the Alto da Serra neighborhood, we can find Morro da Oficina, the most affected place by the storm that hit the city of Petropolis on Tuesday, the worst in 90 years. The house of Suelen's parents was one of the 80 destroyed. Dozens of people were killed or are still missing. My parents live there, my cousins. I even have cousins who are still buried and I have not been found, and my parents survived and are here with me. Teams from different cities in the region, the military, fire brigades and civil defense are mobilized in the search. There are also many volunteers who tell us about the difficulties encountered. Most of the people who are working do not have gloves. There are no procedures gloves in the city. The firemen have them, but volunteers do not have this kind of material. Natalia Lucinda, her husband and two daughters are among the hundreds of homeless. They were saved by lost relatives and neighbors who asked her if there is anyone responsible for this situation. The rulers who do not nothing for us. Every year is the same thing. Every year. They promise, but they don't deliver. I am one of those who heard that they were going to rebuild a retaining wall. I have lived here for 25 years and they never did anything. Augusto lives in one of the 234 risk points mapped by the municipality in 2017. 18% of the houses in Metropolis are in areas with a high or very high possibility of landslides. The study recommended the resettlement of more than 7,000 families, revealing why they are still living at risk. Due to government's lack of interest to provide housing for the population, the whole of Petropolis is a risk area. Rosa Alice was looking for clothes among the donations coming in from all over the country. She also had to leave her home quickly when on February 15 it rained in three hours what was expected for the whole month. If we are not allowed to return, we have nowhere to go, so we will be dependent on the public power. We have nowhere to go. I am in my niece's house, but we can stay here forever. We have nowhere to go. Me, my daughter, and 29 other people who are there have nowhere to go. President Jair Bolsonaro cut 75% of the money for flood prevention in 2021. His ally, the governor of Rio de Janeiro, Claudio Castro, spent less than half the money to prevent these tragedies last year. We asked the mayor of Petropolis, who is in his fourth term of office, why people continue to live in risky areas. He first told us that it was a natural disaster and talked about a national housing inequality. We insisted, and this is how he answered to us. I already made it clear that this is a problem that did not start now. It is a historical problem. I think that you also do not know the history of Morro da Oficina. And so, to make this debate with you, without you knowing the reality of the people here, is difficult. Thank you. Late Thursday afternoon, heavy rain flooded streets, caused new landslides and suspended searches. Further rains are forecast for Friday and Saturday. Andre Vieira, Sebastião Soto, Telesur, Brasil.